like a hell cut. <laughs> So today our topic is FI realization. So basically we have a sum and we will solve using direct form realization and using linear phase realization. So let's start. So we have this sum h of z is equal to 1 plus 3 z raised to minus 1 plus 2 z raised to minus 3 and minus 4 z raised to minus 4. So according to our trick that we have zeros in this direction and we have poles in this direction. So basically this part is removed. So from IIR, if we remove pole part, then we are left with FIR. So this is FIR. So we will have only zeros, we will not have poles. Alright, so there will be X of N, there will be plus sign. Here there will be not a plus sign. Why? Because this area was for pole. So we are removing the pole, so there will be nothing. So this is Y of N. Simple. So first is 1 is going as it is. Now we have delay. Let's say delay with this. Alright. Now it is going. And what is the coefficient 3? So the coefficient or say multiplier will remain as it is 3. Now we have one more delay z raised to minus 2. But there is no delay in the question for z raised to minus 2. So leave this line. Move forward. Now here you will get z raised to minus 3 term. For z raised to minus 3 the multiplier is 2. So 2 will remain as it is. And the last delay is this. And this is z raised to minus 4. And you can see the multiplier is minus 4. Now let's talk about linear phase. Now linear phase has a condition. That is h of n is equal to h of n minus 1 minus n. Now capital N, n means the length. Alright, length of the sequence, small n is what you want, basically at what point, what is the amplitude. So, let's see one example, let's say this is only our example, h of n for this is 1 comma 3 comma 0 comma 2 comma minus 4. Now why 0? Because if you know how to find h of n from this is the formula. And the formula is summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 h of n z raised to minus n is equal to h of z. We are taking the inverse logic like we have to find h of n and we have h of z. You can see we have h of z and we have to find h of n. So using that logic we get this. So basically our h of n is 1302 minus 4. Now we can see length n is equal to 1 2 3 4 5. n is 5. So h of 5 minus 1 minus n. So basically this is h of 4 minus n. Now let's check whether the condition matches. Suppose I say small n is equal to 0. Then h of 0 is equal to h of 4 minus 0. That is h of 4. Are they equal? Let's check. h of 0 is 1. h of 4 is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. This h of 4. So you can see h of 0 is 1. Whereas h of 4 is minus 4. So this is not equal. So this is a not. Uh, let's say this is not a linear phase system so we cannot find linear phase realization for this so let's take an example where we can actually plot or you can actually draw a linear phase realization suppose i have equation h of z is equal to 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 z raised to minus 1 plus 3 by 4 z raised to minus 3 and so on let's take h of n for that again so the trick for writing h of n, I am saying that uh, whatever is the power of z raised to minus 1 will be the positive coefficient for h of n. So, so these are a, a small n, you can say. These are small n. And if it is z raised to minus 1, this will represent 1. z raised to minus 2, this will represent 2. So, this is the sequence. So what does the sequence say? For h of 0, value is 1 by 4. And you can see h of z is z raised to minus 1. Coefficient is 1 by 4. So h of 1 is half. h of 2 is 3 by 4. So let's check the formula again. That for it, for the linear condition, it should match this condition. 
now n is you can see 1 2 3 4 5 so n is 5 so n minus 1 will be 4 minus n all right now let's check for n equal to 0 n equal to 0 h 0 is h 4 n equal to 1 h of 1 is h of 3 let's take that h of 0 is equal to h of 4 true now h of 1 should be equal to h of 3 let's check h of 1 is equal to h of 3 true now if you want to take uh, this this means the same you can see h of 2 and n minus 1 that is 4 minus 2 so h of 2 so this is also true so we have found that this sequence is a linear phase system so we can draw a linear phase realization so let's draw that now my question is if I draw with direct form 2 and if I use a linear phase system realization what will be the benefit or right, let's say direct form direct form structure what will happen here is first I will use this x of n and output is y of n I will use the first delay then the second delay then the third delay then the fourth delay all right and I will add here so basically this all will be added and this is the output now my question here is you can see I am using the same multiplier like see for z raised to minus 1 the multiplier is half whereas for z raised to minus 4 here the multiplier is also uh, sorry for z raised to this minus 3 so here the multiplier is again half and you can see for upper side it is 1 by 4 and the large z raised to minus 4 the multiplier is 1 by 4 so I am using the same multiplier alright many times so this system is inefficient how can we make it efficient using linear phase realization technique so what we will do is we will take the uh, output like see we have 1 by 4 common alright so 1 plus 1 by 4 is common with z raised to minus 4 alright again 1 by half is common with z raised to minus 1 plus z raised to minus 3 and the last is 3 by 4 z raised to minus 2 so if we can plot this successfully we are saving the multiplier so let's see how to do that all right so we have to plot h of z is this we have to save the multiplier so first i will recommend draw this z raised to minus 1 z raised to minus 1 this box which i called it as a box because let's see what is the significance of this box so you have to draw this all right now the reason i have drawn this because we have z raised to minus 4 terms all right so first the first delay here we will get this area basically this area means z raised to minus 1 area if we start from here this area means z raised to minus 2 area if we go from here z raised to minus 3 area and basically the last z raised to minus 4 area all right now let's see the question first we have the constant take this constant so this is x of n and y of n we have to write so let's say this is x of n start first constant constant is here this line this line is constant all right then we have to club this with z raised to minus 4 so this is the z raised to minus 4 area so we have to club this so addition for clubbing we use addition now we have the common multiplier that is 1 by 4 now we have saved the multiplier you can see okay again now the next term is z raised to minus 1 and z raised to minus 3 we have to club them find the areas so this is the z raised to minus 1 area take that z raised to minus 3 area so 1 2 3 so this is the z raised to minus 3 area take this club them take the output multiplier is 1 by 2 all right now the last that is z raised to minus 2 so this is the area of z raised to minus 2 take the line take anywhere from here you can take from here because the area is z raised to minus 2 you can take from anywhere so this the multiplier is 3 by 4 now we have to club all of them so addition addition y of n so this is linear phase realization
आई होप यू लाइक दीडियो तो फ्रेंड्स अगर आपको मेरी वीडियो पसंद आ रही हो देन टू लाइक दिस वीडियो शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई YouTube चैनल तो मिलते हैं अगली वीडियो में टिल देन टेक केयर दिस इज ट्रेनिक जैन पीस आउट